Hey, welcome to this video in which I'm going to show you some kind of easy arrangements of the tune 900 miles. Um, one in a lower octave, one in a higher octave. So let me play through it and then we can get to talking about it. Okay, a one, two, a one, two. So that was my basic uh, arrangement through 900 miles. Um, it's a lot of this like pick strummy, pick strummy thing. There are a lot of different versions of this tune. Um, this one is heavily influenced by Barbara Dane's version. So, um, and she does this pick strummy, pick strummy thing. I think actually the first lower octave is probably almost identical to what she's playing. Maybe a couple different things here and there, but it's a nice, tune to practice to get this kind of pick strummy pick strummy style um so <clears throat> let's first just talk about the chords that we're doing even though when i play the arrangement i'm not really acknowledging the chords too much so uh, i'm gonna put the chords up it's just three chords we play e minor we play a minor and we play b7 right so let me sing through the the lines so you can kind of hear it the first phrase the first four bars is well i'm going down the track i got tears in my eyes Next phrase is all on A minor. Trying to read a letter from my home. Next phrase, if this train runs me right, I'll be home by tomorrow night. Cause I'm 900 miles from my home. Then the last phrase is just a, a tag. Same melody, same chords. Um, and I hate to hear that lonesome whistle blow. Yeah, so that's that tune, that's 900 miles. So now the way we're arranging this is I'm, we're gonna play the melody and then in any pause we have, we can just do a quick strum of the chords. So let's just start by looking at the first line of this melody, right? I'm gonna put the tab up here, ignore the, the strum marks. Uh, we're just gonna play the melody. It's, oh, before I uh, do that, let's just mention it's part of an E minor pentatonic scale. So if you know your E minor pentatonic shape, should be on the screen this will be a lot easier. Um, now, if you get that melody in your ear, this is gonna be a lot easier for you. So let me play the first melody. It sounds like this. That's just that first line. So if you do that by ear, this becomes a little easier, but you can look at the tab. So all I'm doing is I'm just strumming anytime there's a pause. Pause, so I'm just gonna do a down up. Now when I do this down up, I'm gonna hold an E minor chord. So now I have a couple options. If I want to keep holding this E minor chord down, I can actually play most of these notes, right? I'll get this G note, the, the third fret here with my pinky finger. So that's possible. Um, or if I want to get that with my middle finger, or it's possible just to like make the E minor chord right when I want to strum it. I think both work. Sometimes switch between them. Okay, anyways, that was a little bit of a, a diatribe. Let's go through this line. Down up on any minor. Down up. Down up. Okay, and then if we look at this next 
phrase. Now we hammer this on with our middle finger because we need an A minor chord here. So we got this A minor down up. Down up. Yeah, then we have the next phrase. We're still on an A minor. Here we're gonna play an E minor. Then we keep going. a B7, but we're holding this F sharp note um, with our middle finger, which is the only note we play that isn't part of the E pentatonic scale. So we're going to have to make this B7 chord a little bit different. We just, the rest of the fingers are going to get the B7 chord, but we're going to get uh, this F sharp as our melody. And then this one's a bit hard, but I like to slide up to get three, two, zero. And then here I just put a little hammer on. Again, that last bar is the same as the next bar. You might have noticed that uh, I added a fair amount of extra strumming there in my uh, in my version of it. And all I was doing there, and this is kind of extra and you can do it when you want and when it feels right, is on these shorter notes, I just add a quick upstroke. So for example, I'm just gonna look at the first uh, phrase here uh, in between like these first two notes. They're kind of quick, so I can't get a down up between them but I can get just an upstroke. I mean, I am hitting both these notes with downstrokes. So my hand's coming up. So all I need to do is just get the strings with that. Right? So you can always add that in. I think if you do it all the time, it's a bit much. Um, and often if you're not comfortable with the style, that's a tricky thing to do. So I would first suggest getting comfortable with this at first. But when you get um, uh, when you get a little quicker with it, and make sure that you're playing all of those notes with a downstroke. That's one of the reasons why this tune um, is great for this, because all the melody notes land on a downstroke. So if you're getting all the melody notes with a downstroke, it gets a lot easier to get the rest of them with an upstroke. Okay, but that's that there. So now I just decided this is a great one to do with this pick strum, pick strum. But what if we added it up an octave? So I just did basically the same thing up an octave. So instead of starting E here, I started on the next E. But I actually move away from, um, from this open position. And you'll see here I get E, G, A, and then I just use my middle finger to slide up to a B. B, D, E. And I think this is a nice thing to get comfortable with. Just go up and down this little uh, E minor pentatonic. it's very, very usable, especially if you're playing Jimi Hendrix. Um, yeah, we do this all the time on guitar. Um, so if you didn't know that one, it's a really nice pra uh, thing to practice. Okay, so then I just basically do the exact same thing and I'm just doing the whole thing on the higher string. So let's go through this. So I have that melody. Again, a pause, so I'll just do a strum. Now here we have the A minor chord, but the A and E minor share a lot of notes and we can just kind of strum on the high strings here anyways. We're not really worrying about acknowledging this A minor. Technically we're getting an A minor 7 because of this open G. Next phrase. could make a B7 or but I kind of like the way the open E sounds. It, it sounds nice not to acknowledge the B7. Again, I'll just mention that you probably noticed in the version that I played, I got a lot of upstrokes in there. 
you can just kind of like add as many strums as you want as long as you're not hitting the, the lower strings because this E note sounds great through the whole thing because it is an E minor. All right. Well, um, I hope you had fun with these. I think they're, it's a really kind of nice, if you're not comfortable with this uh, pick strum, pick strum, it's a really nice tune to get into with this style. So I hope you had fun and good luck with it. See you next time. Bye.